All right, good morning. So I wanted to share what I've been kind of working on this morning and it's it's a pitch deck, it's a media deck. Um, and just to give some context, one of the other things I'm doing right now is um, helping a couple of creators out with, um, you could say management. Um, and one of these cool people is Yusuf or Faith and Cuteness on Instagram, for example. Um, that's her Instagram. Um, she also has a YouTube. It's the same thing, I think, Faith and Cuteness. Um, and she does kind of lifestyle vlogs. And I met her in New York a couple of months ago. Um, and I mean, she has 100K on, on Instagram. She has now 430,000 subscribers on YouTube. And um, she, you know, she, she needed help with putting a bit more structure um, behind everything everything that she's doing because she's going to school. Um, she's obviously doing this whole social media and YouTube thing and it's um, for her kind of at a point where it's hard for her to keep up with ev everything because if you're that big and you have like 430,000 subscribers on YouTube, you have brands reaching out to you wanting to do deals, brand deals, brand integrations, wanting you to pay you for um, product placement, sponsored posts, or even don't want to pay you and just try to get it for free. And so I'm, I'm helping her with multiple things. I'm handling right now a lot of the, or started handling some of the email communication because she's getting overwhelmed by that. And obviously if you don't reply to a brand reaching out asking if you want to do a paid, um, a paid brand deal and you don't reply, well then you miss out on that potential deal. So I'm managing her inbox and one of the things we decided to do because a lot of brands reach out and they want to find out about her, her audience, her reach, her demographics, um, to put together a deck that summarizes kind of um, all of it that we can just send out whenever anyone new reaches out and they see everything in one go. It's, it's called a media kit. It's a pretty standard thing um, if you're kind of a bigger influencer. And so um, I'm helping her out put that together and that's kind of what I've been doing this morning. Um, started to first just sketch out what, what should be going in there and obviously um, as you guys know, your boy doesn't know anything, so I just looked at what other people are doing. I Google shit, I, I watched some YouTube videos, I looked how other influencers do their media kit, um, and I wrote down all the things, all the themes that generally come up, and then I started to put together the skeleton. So it's like a page, then that would be the about page, who she is, what she does, her values, the reach, of her of her social platforms and then some some broad youtube stats like impressions minutes watch views same for instagram her demographic like a breakdown um then brands that she has worked with previously obviously some big names in there which which builds credibility um this should be a, an example of a brand integration um results that she got we still have to get that testimonials we still have to get that too and then a contact page and i think the door just rang and so i should check out who just rang the doorbell the door was a salesperson trying to sell us cheaper um i think power or gas or something but obviously i'm not the decision maker those are my parents so he realized that pretty soon pretty quickly so he got the fuck out of there again. Um, that's actually a hard fucking job. You have to get over your um, your uncomfortable incomf or whatever. I mean, I was a salesperson kind of when I worked for Save the Children as a fundraiser. You just have, instead of selling gas and, um, and electricity, you're selling charity and good work. But still, people are pretty fucking hesitant to do that. But yeah, I put together this deck. Um, it's just a skeleton, it's just an overview, which I'm gonna send to her now. Um, and then she can design it and put together whatever she wants because this obviously has to present her. So 
she can decide how she wants to make it look but i just put together that she under you know as an overview of what, what should be in here and yeah that's one of the things i'm also doing and i'm actually really enjoying it only for the fact that I like her as a person. And that's why I want to work with people who are like, because if I would be doing the same thing right now for a shitty ass person, then the same work, the same things I would be doing would not be enjoyable. This is, by the way, unpaid, so. Yeah. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate. But why now? Holy shit, I just wanna make